hello guys um, today uh, we will try to understand how to migrate a file server from old server to a new server so currently I have two machines with me one is my old file server and let me see uh, the the file shares so you can see um, I have uh, some file share uh, data in E drive right and users in E drive now what I want to do I want to migrate these two file shares to a different server right so currently my server is send hyphen DC 01 and IP address is 172.26.164.162 so let's see how we are going to do so to uh, do this activity we basically the first thing that we need to do we have to go to uh, the main file server and we type reg edit we go to local machine we go to system then we go to current control set then we go to services and in the services if you go down then you will see service start with LAN man server if you double click here then you will see shares right and then you will able to see all the uh, share folder that you have I might have multiple share folders so that's the reason you are able to see I have two share folder in C drive two share folder in the E drive right click export and then save this file share send DC 01 let's save this file now we have to uh, go to the second server so this is my second server where I want to migrate these file shares so let's go to the command prompt type and see I do not have any 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 share on this particular machine right so it's a fresh machine no share if you type IP config then uh, the IP address of this machine is 163 so and the host name of this machine will be uh, send hyphen svr1 so we, what we are going to do to migrate this server we are going to use a command called robocopy with the help of that command we are going to migrate the data from old server to the new server right but to migrate the data the path has to be accessible a new server will have to access the path network path of the old server so my old server is DC01 and then you can able to see there is a folder called data which contain the data another folder called users so what we are planning to do we are going to migrate these two folders so we need to have this network path with us right so let me open notepad and paste the path because I have two folders so that meant there are two paths we have to copy and paste so we have to repeat the command two times so 
so first thing we need to have the path right share folder path the next thing that we want to do where we want to migrate the file shares so uh, let me do one thing so the data is in data drive and we don't have a data drive in this machine let me uh, enable one data drive right make sure uh, whenever you have the the data drives right uh, carry the same path right if you don't have the same path then i will let you know if you are going to copy like uh, that data is in the c drive and now here is it's going on a e drive or any other drive right so currently if you see i don't have any data file anything here so but this is my path where i want to copy so and what is the folder name is data i want to copy so the file will be robo copy dot exe and then the source path from where the unc path of the source or the network path of the source and the destination path where we want to migrate it right similar thing will be for my second right space and robo robocopy.exe the source path so we have two source path and here it will be the folder will be users now to copy the data we need to use certain switches right so uh, to know the switches let's type robocopy and so we get to know about what all other switches that we have here so if you can see there are multiple switches right which can tell us what you want to do what you what kind of data you want to copy right so first which is that we are going to do copy the subdirectory including empty so this is the first right so that means we are going to type slash e now the next switch that we are going to do is zb zb is if the user restart table mode if the access deny use the backup mode right so that is the next switch that we are going to do if the file is accessed by already accessed by the user then the second mode that we are going to do now let's go and what we want to do we want to copy all the files informations copy all file info so we are going to use next switch call copy all right now when we are copying the data so there is a problem might be the file is not accessible at that moment uh, there might be re attempt is required for that particular file right so then there are certain switches that is given to us if we go down then it say that the number of retries right so if you can see it here right so we are going to back here so we want at least three retries before it fail next it will ask the wait time right what is the wait time so each retry i want certain time so 3 seconds wait for each right and now we want to see the outcome in the verbose mode so i want to see what's happening in the background so let's type so these are the switches that we need to use and similar switches i am going to uh, paste into my second share so let's copy this command 
and make sure the command prompt you can open should be as an administrator so let's clear the screen let's paste the command so what I want to do I want to run robocopy command from this particular path I want to copy that data folder in my e drive under the data and I want to use all these switches now here you are able to see the total number of directories 2 do we have skip anything no total number of files 12 the total size is 98.58 MB the time it took right and uh, we don't see any failure here and if you can see uh, it will show me all the files that we try to copy here right and if you go to the folder e drive you will able to see all the data has been copied right now what we are going to do we are going to repeat the second because we want to copy the second data also so let's go back come back here and repeat the same command and now this time the direct number of directory 3 is number of file 10 right the total data less 1 MB or whatever the size it is right and I don't see any failure here so let's go back to the e drive and then you'll able to see I have both users and the users data the only problem is here right when you try to access these folders via your network path right that time you get to know about right they are not shared right technically these folders post migrations they are there their sizes everything is okay if you go to the properties if you go to the security you will see security permissions are also carry forward but if you click on the sharing you don't see any sharing happening right same thing here with this user right if you can see we have the permissions for the security but there is no sharing so how we are going to get the sharing informations so that's where we are going to access that particular uh, file in my old server right let's try to access it let's access the hidden share and if you go to the users go to the administrator go to the desktop and then you'll able to see this registry file so make sure you copy this registry file in this PC let's once you copy it double click on it and it will ask you do you want to do it yes it successfully added the next thing what you have to do just restart this particular machine once you restart this server right so post restart this machine will be ready let me take the RDP of that machine and see if restart it is done or not yes restart is done and let's go back and see if we have the network share enable for those two servers or not now you can see both servers are accessible and even you can go here go to the properties and then you go to the sharing you can see the share if you click here then you can see the permission is also there right and same thing for this so guys this is a way how you are going to 
migrate your file share from old server to the new server thank you for watching this video i'll see you again